Have you been staring at that pile of laundry for the past few days, hoping it will fold itself? Actually, for me, it was, I just tripped over the basket uh, <laughs> that still needs done in the hallway this morning. Well, Heather, if you tackle it, uh, not only can you check it off your list, but it may also help spark a bit of joy. Oh, so good. I think most people can uh, relate to feeling like when your house is stressed out or a mess, you feel stressed out. Yeah. And then as soon as you clean it, you immediately feel better. Ooh, oh yeah, you're, yes. you're a better version than of yourself. You're better than everyone. That's exactly. true because there is a connection between your mood and cleanliness. And research shows that living in a cluttered environment increases your stress. Um, they looked at one study where women cared for an infant in either a normal or a cluttered home. And the cluttered home women reported high levels of stress. They yeah. found it difficult to focus um, on a task and they felt confused. And then people overall just with clean homes homes tend to be healthier. Yeah. And the Journal of Mindfulness, this was inter interesting. Um, they said when washing dishes, you know, busting the suds, uh, listening to the water and taking in the smell of the dish soap, rep they reported a 27% uh, reduction in nervousness and, in, and an improved outlook in life. Also clean bed sheets yep. and making your bed can help you get oh, a better God, yeah. night's rest. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, we what? make the bed every night, every morning. Every I morning. would say it's mostly Frankie because I leave before him, but yeah. yes. Oh my I, God. I, it's key. I love that habit of his. Yes. If, he, if he wouldn't mind sending that on over to my mark, <laughs> that'd be great. Even though I do make the bed as soon as I wake up. There's something about having a clean room, getting ready in a clean room yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, I am going to say there's stuff on the floor. I'm human, but mm -hmm. it, it's still nice to know where everything is. Do you know what this reminds me of so much? I don't know if you all went through this, but I remember nesting oh, in hard. the worst way when I was pregnant. Like the closer you get to having the baby, you just feel this need mm -hmm. to like get things ready. And I do feel like, I don't know, maybe men go through it too, but as a woman, I am, I feel like I'm in that constant state of my house needs to be ready. For what? I don't know. For all the guests <laughs> that are never coming. Guests. Just but always it, ready. It just feels that way. If there's any kind of mess or if somebody pops in, you just, I don't know, you want things to look their best. You want things to be in their place. Sure. I agree. And I, I think I'm, I'm finally getting back to the point now, a year later after having Logan, where I'm just like, okay, Everything has to get back into place because I, I've been living in a mess for a year. Sure, because, well, yeah, oh, babies well. are I a mean, mess. Toddlers are worse, it's, by the way. Oh, so, <laughs> I mean, as soon as you put the toys away, they're back out on the floor, and I'm just like, all right, just I just gave up. But now I, I feel like I'm finally getting a handle on. Things. Absolutely, yeah. I'm in the purge phase oh, of yeah. of that, and um, my Logan is what seven, eight months older and mm -hmm. I'm in the purge phase now he's grown out of you know two three sizes and I want to just I never want to see things again and yeah. it's not just his clothes it's my daughter's clothes it's my clothes it's the same can we give it all away yeah. I, I want to <laughs> see none of it and I think it's because I know that back to school mornings are coming and I know that I'm gonna have to be you know sifting through and like oh well it's 60 degrees now but it's gonna be 90 when they come home I don't know what no we're not yeah. we're not playing that game we're just getting rid of everything this is good. this is so true though and I don't know again if you guys went through this but I saved all of Lila's clothes mm. because she was our first. And I thought, mm -hmm. oh, we're going to have more. I'm going to save all these. And honestly, I had boxes of clothes, like up to 5T in our I mean, whole warehouse. Like, kid. <laughs> yeah. There's like this constant storing of the stuff for later. Yeah. That dry, I mean. When's later, when's though? That's yeah. my thing. Well, it's mostly all gone now. Mm -hmm. Oh, good for you. We have gotten through all of the hand-me-downs and the Most of Rocco stuff you've and given to me. I've given, yeah, yeah, I've given I, I got it back. Stuff. Thanks. Like, I've passed it off. Like, yes. I'm purging, too. Trust me. <laughs> well, purge this <laughs> way. Right, right. But no, you bring up a good, my worst nightmare is someone coming over in my house just looking, like, making a surprise visit, and I'm like, oh, yeah. okay, come on in. No, don't. Text call three days ahead of time. We need time. <laughs> All right.